Okay, cool. So, I mean, we're not going to be on here that long, but I just wanted to touch base with you guys. Um, I mean, I feel like this point, anybody running for eighty an eighty thousand dollar bonus or two hundred thousand dollar bonus, I mean, at this point, you've led a team, you've been in long enough to kind of, you know, you know the basics and all that. Um, but I thought, you know, at least doing some kind of push group. I mean, I just think it's cool to all be in one spot with people that have a common goal that push each other or just have different ideas or advice on what we're doing and all of that. But it is so insane how many people like are coming back around. It's like it, as soon as they announce a bonus, it's like the dead people always say, how do I raise the dead? Well, I guess this is how we do it. <laughs> I guess just announce some crazy ass bonuses and the dead <laughs> will rise. Um, but it's insane because, you know, one thing I don't want us to lose is the motivation. And it's, it's so easy to have it right when, you know, these bonuses are announced, but then, you know, reality starts setting in a month in, two months in, three months in. And, you know, and we start getting people around us being negative and stuff. And I don't want you guys being brought down by that because the, at the end of the day, your attitude is what's going to get you to that next place. Um, and I think also, I mean, it, there's a lot, like once you hit 80 K and 200, I mean, once you hit 40 K and above, like at that point you have a team and it's not just you, you know, you're kind of worried about this person, that person, and you're trying to like manage your time. And I mean, I think the biggest thing is not the easiest thing for, I mean, even I do it, like, it doesn't matter what role you are at that point, once you have a team under you, it's easy to fall into management mode. And, um, you know, not be working our businesses like we could be. So, you know, that I definitely it was my main advice for people trying to grab the 40, 40 K bonus. And it's my main advice for you guys is just be super careful not to fall into a place where you're not personally doing what you need to be doing every day. You know, don't fall into just helping everyone on your team and not helping yourself. Um, because that can get, you know, super, <laughs> super easy to fall into. And you don't want to get to like the end of, the end of uh, April and be like, dang it. Why didn't I do more? I was so busy helping everybody else. And now I just missed it or I fell short. Um, and there's some of you guys on here. I know that you, it, it's a long road. You guys, this business is so up and down. And so there's some of you guys that you're not holding 40, you hit that 40 K, but you're no longer holding it, you know? So it's kind of like, Oh crap. I've got to get 40 K back in order to get the $80,000 bonus. And it seems hard, but you guys, I have seen not if the momentum under you is running, not if other people on your team are running after it, not if you're out there getting new people. I mean, you would be surprised how easily you can go, you could get that 40 K back and run to 80 super quick. I mean, it can happen in the next month, two months. So you know, just know that not, it's not impossible. No matter where you're standing, it is absolutely not impossible. It's very probable that, especially during a time like this, you can hit it. My thing is, is being able to maintain it once you hit it. You know what I mean? Grab the bonus, but then keeping the bonus um, is going to be, I think, you know, that thing that it, it's long after this. It's not just this four months and the excitement, but after this four months end, now keeping people motivated and making sure everybody's got their volume and, you know, everybody's staying pushed forward so that you're maintaining what you need to maintain. Um, but I feel like if you guys are bringing in new and getting, you know, a couple new people pushed along, it's not going to really matter what other people do, you know, as long as you're keeping that mindset of, you know, I'm going to do whatever I need to do to keep it. Um, but really, I kind of wanted to just hop on really quick and see what, you know, one of the things I wanted to do too was creating like the live event on, you know, Tuesday night and Wednesday nights and creating the push groups was also a way um, for me to kind of, you know, I was thinking, how can I help? What can I do to 
help you guys. And I felt like the biggest way, the biggest thing I could do to help you guys was maybe free up some of your time, you know, like create anything that I can make life easier so that you guys have more time to go recruit and spend time with new people versus, you know, dragging along people that you've been trying to drag along now for two, two, three years. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, how can I, what could I possibly do? And so I'm trying to like, think of things like, you know, making a recruiting video so people can send that out really quick, or if they have questions or, you know, doing the live events or doing the push group so that maybe, you know, if they don't know what to do, they can utilize me or ask me questions so that you guys can be out there doing what you need to do. And you're not so tied up with all those people. Um, but I also kind of wanted to know, well, first of all, if there, is there anything else you guys think on my end that I could do to help because I want to, whatever I can do. Um, I mean, I've already resigned myself to the fact that I'm not sleeping for about four months and it'll be to totally worth it. Um, so what can I do? Um, yes. So somebody just asked me that in the last Zoom I just did. 100%. There's got, not going to be anything I'm doing in that 4K push group that a brand new person can't come in and start to understand. So uh, yeah, up from now all the way up until April, anybody new that's coming in that's joining, I encourage people to get them in the 40K or the 4K push group. Why not? You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, absolutely. The answer to that is yes. Um, so I guess I wanted to find out from you guys, you know, number one, if, you guys have anything you're thinking would be a good idea, anything else that I could be doing personally, or you think as a team would be a good idea to do. Um, I mean, I'm down. Like if y'all think we need to run some kind of team wide, you know, uh, samples thing. I mean, whatever, like I've been trying to think of lots of different things. I'm like, how could I help? But I know individually we have so many leaders, including you guys all kind of doing things as well. So I also don't want to, create busy work for people either. Like that's, there's a fine line. So I don't want to do that either. All the other thing is, you know, are you guys running into anything? You guys have any questions or hurdles or just things you wanted to, you know, chat about while we have a couple minutes together and know that obviously you can utilize the push group. And I'm hoping you guys do, you know, if you're running into anything, like maybe you're just in a conversation with somebody and you don't know what to say and you want advice put it in the group, you know, see what other people would say to that. Um, I mean, at this point, I don't feel at this point, I know anything more than you guys know. It's more just, I've been doing it longer. Um, you know, and I might have some advice to offer, but you guys are also amazing that I feel like you're all running towards a common goal. Being in a group like that together, you guys can utilize each other as well. You know, just like getting advice from people or, you know, if you need somebody to go live with you, or you want somebody to, you know, help. I think being front and center right now at the stage you guys are at is huge. You know what I mean? Putting yourselves out there, letting your team know, look, I'm, I'm scared to do the things, but I'm still doing them. And also showing them that you are in it every day, you know? And I think that that's what motivates people. That's the only thing that motivates people is seeing you do it too. Um, so I don't know. I just want to see if you guys had anything you wanted to chat about you guys have any issues comments concerns or ideas uh, totally cool if not that's cool too you know i know we're like i <laughs> if you guys' minds like mine it's well, all over the place so. i can share a little bit what, what our team's been doing like between me yeah. and lisa literally we've just been pushing a lot of welcome calls and just telling people just getting them on and even if they're on samples we're just like you know what like are you open to earning more money? Like right away and we're like, boom, get them on like a welcome, not even a welcome call, but just getting to know each other, right? So that's what yeah. we've been doing. And we're literally just spamming our stories with it just because we want to, everyone to see us having momentum and pushing. And, you know, we want them to be FOMO and want to join our team, right? So literally we've been doing that all the time and we make it really fun. We, we do a lot of videos of us just having fun. And we're like usually in our robes actually, because <laughs> that's our office attire. So you know, I think what we're doing as a team, like it's creating FOMO and it's going to create people wanting to join our team. Right. So that's what we're doing as a team. Um, and we're just, and if people are kind of stuck for money, we are sending samples out for them. We're like, just get people on thrive. Just keep people on thrive. We'll send it to them. 
you know, that's what we're doing to help our like new people and our new promoters or even customers. Um, other than that, I think what Ashley, Lisa, are we doing anything else? Um, I know that I want to do a promo for my people in like VIPs. So if they're gonna, it's actually an idea from twin. So I'm like, I'm hundred percent going to do that and just do a little bit of my own money. And just like, if you hit VIP 800, you're going to get this amount, like hundred bucks. You get, you get VIP 1600, you get an, another hundred dollars for me. So just a little bit extra incentive, but yeah, like I've had a few girls that, um, that would want the opportunity. And like, she's been watching me for a couple of years now. And, um, I, she was like, I reached out to her. I'm like, I just sent her a voice note. And I'm like, Hey, like, <laughs> do you want to do this? Cause I know you've been wanting to do this for a while. She's stuck with budget. So I'm like, Hey, well, if you're willing to work and you're willing to plug in and do these things, I will give you a free week and then I will do the samples for you. And she's like, okay. So I think it's more of not even asking anymore and just leading from the front has been working. Cause the fact that we, me, Lisa, Jan, Ronnie, like, and Linda, like we're all leading from the front and doing what we're supposed to be doing. The team is like, okay, well, if these newbies are doing lives already and they're not even hitting promoter just yet, then they're already like setting an example to the rest of the team. So we're using the newbies and praising the newbies so much and just do what they do. Cause now the older people that are, are in the team that are just turning back on are like, I'm like, if this new mama four month old can do it, you can do it. If this 61 year old grandma can do it, you can do it. You can do it. They like really no excuse. So I think it's just that fire, that momentum. It yeah. just goes to that, like that fire on our team right now. Is and like getting samples out, getting samples out. Like literally we're just getting, going for the nose now. Like as soon as we see someone's like, Oh, I'm like coffee. I'm like, so do you need the coffee or are you, you know, do you just do it for the taste? They're like, well, I just do it for the taste, but I wish I could get the energy. I'm like, Perfect. Send me a, send me your address. I want to send you a sample. I don't even ask them no more. I just say send me your address. I'll give you a sample, <laughs> and it, I, we send it out. And we send it out. No, every that is all good. And I think right now you guys really think about that because we're going to be making. I mean, obviously this time of year our paychecks go up anyways. So really think about. Um, I'm going to hold them mute out. Really sorry, guys. There was an echo. But really think about that, guys, because they brought up an amazing point. Here's the deal. You're going to be making some extra money right now. Our paychecks just naturally go up with or without bonuses this time of year. You may really want to think about investing a little bit more into your team as far as it, it could be that little extra you're adding to the VIP bonus. Like you could do that. If you VIP, go VIP 800 within your first seven days, I'm going to throw in an extra hundred dollars. Like just little things like that can push people to that next place. Um, and I think that, gosh, I mean, I can't stress enough how hugely important it is. And I think that's why um, all of you guys, Twins Team Under is just so, ex so successful because you guys literally create a family and a community for people right away. Like you create that, like getting them in welcome messages and calls and making them feel like they're a part of something immediately, I think is so huge. Like, I mean, all day long, I hope you guys are sharing all the tips you do, you're doing because what you guys do works. So <laughs> y'all listen to this because it works. So I just want to just mention again about sampling. And this is the thing that uh, we have our team, we can't push samples out. We have to really invest and actually like, like Jen said, was just give samples out, but we got really aggressive with reef driving for free. So right away when um, they get a sample, um, I'm like, okay, I we say it right away. And before we're kind of being like a little bit more wishy-washy. Now we're like, hey, we know that we, sorry, you're on Thrive. We want um, pay for it the first month. We want to help you thrive for free. All you have to do is just send us your referrals. Let me let, um, and I will send you a free sample to your referrals. Cause again, because again, they're, they're, it's their friend, right? So they're going to have that connection where they're going to thrive. Okay. It's not a random, it's not whatever. So I, um, so we're like, Hey, let me send you your friend a free sample because I want to help you thrive for free. That is the goal is to help you thrive for free. So, so let me know if you have anybody that is interested, put them on a three way with me or let me know. And I will drop samples off. I went from zero PPA to seven in since January 1st. I was just all That's building relationships. Awesome. And just referrals after referrals, but we got really aggressive with the sampling and just being really more direct with our, um, our, uh, our people just so that they can save money. Right. And I think you guys, that's the word that I would, that I would, I feel like that's the word for all of you guys, aggressive. 
Like, I think right now everybody needs to be like times 100. <laughs> be so aggressive with everything that you've thought about doing done before, been on the fence about. Like, at this point, you're going for no. You know, at this point, you are you are stepping out of your comfort zone and pulling out all the stops. Why not? I mean, it is going to be a no if you don't ask, that's for sure. And, and if we do, it could be a yes. Like, that's the only way you're going to know. So I think at this point, running for an 80000 or a $200,000 bonus, in my opinion, you, the fear has to go out the window. I mean, do it afraid. You're going to do, you're going to, you guys are all going to be doing stuff that you're like, oh my God, I don't want to do it. Or this is uncomfortable. But at this point, like, I'm sorry, but for a $200,000 bonus, like, dude, if you want me to wear underwear on my head, I'll do that. Like, whatever, <laughs> like <laughs> whatever you need me to do, I will try it for $200,000. Like, I just think that's the mentality that everybody needs to have. I love it. Okay. You guys, we have such great minds on here and great people doing great things. Like what else? Any blue else wants to share what they're doing? I think I'll just kind of, I'll back up what, what Jan was saying about the FOMO. You know, we're doing a lot of like every time a new promoter comes on, we're shouting them out in our pages, um, letting everybody know like how fast this is blowing up. You know, I, I love that it does create, like if people are sitting there and they're thinking, maybe, 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 and they see all these other people saying yes, I think that's just a huge deal to keep those shout outs coming. Um, e even shouting out promoters that have been here, um, talking about the bonuses, like I'm posting about the bonuses every single day. So I just kind of wanted to back that up. We're doing lots and lots of shout outs. Dude, FOMO, that's the main reason why a lot of people join. They're like, I want to go on a trip. I want to have friends. I want to, I want like a bonus. Like, it's no matter what we think, even if it's, you know, especially so many of us, I think it's at this part, at this point in the business, you talk to one person and they tell you, don't post about Thrive all the time. You're going to be spammy. And then you talk to this person and they're like, post about Thrive. Look, what I know to work, no matter what, it, it, like there's an exception to every rule. And I'm all about, you know, attraction marketing and all that but there's a time and a place where you just need to go balls to the walls and if you look at like your guys's team Lacey like putting it out there putting it out there if you look at twins team putting it out there putting it out there that works it's working and I'm not saying it will work for everyone but what I am saying is now is the time I mean especially in our stories let's let's be salesy like let's pound the bonuses, share the promotions, especially if you, you know, if you're kind of weary about doing it on your actual timeline, stories is where it's at. I mean, dude, I got, I, I, I keep, it keeps getting validated to me over and over again, because I was kind of watching my stories like, oh, I don't want people to think it's just thrive. But I'm telling you what, every single time I put something that salesy in my stories, I get a new customer or a promoter. Every Next time in my stories. stories, stories, you guys have an excuse to freaking spam the heck out of it. Okay. But we share our life in it. We talk in it. We, you know, we're playing with our kids, like literally every single thing that we're doing all day long, we're spamming it, but we're spamming our products. We're spamming, we're using it, but there's a certain way to spam it guys. When you're doing product posts, we don't just do the three steps. We literally do the capsules. Like what I'll do is I'll be like, I'll wake up in the morning at four in the morning and I'll be like, Janny's loading. Give me 10. Why give me 10? Because my jumper cables haven't kicked in yet. So then, you know, you show up with jumper cables. I'm like, yeah, this got me out of bed this morning. You know, it's just, and you got to make it real to you, right? But stories, I feel like you can, it's an excuse for you to spam the heck out of it. Show your life, show your realness, your rawness, right? And then your post, you guys, yeah, of course, make it a little bit nicer or presentable because no one wants to see an ugly background or anything, right? But I think, they, like Twins always said, your page is your resume, and your story is your, is your excuse to literally spam the heck out of it. Put your product post in it. Put transformations every day. Ultimate Thriver. You know, it's just like when we see those ads coming through Facebook all the time. And eventually I'm like, oh man, okay, I'm going to buy that stuffy. <laughs> you know, right. it's kind of like that. It's yeah. so true. It's so, 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 it's just so true. I mean, and I just feel like now is that time where we just can't question it. Just do it. Just do it. Stop questioning yourself, guys. Stop going over it 8,000 times in your head. Just do it. And I mean, at the end of the day, 
because somebody said to me the other day, well, what, I don't want to ruin my market. I'm like, look, you're not going to ruin your market in four months. You, guess what? You have a new market of new people coming in four months from now. Like we constantly, if you're doing this business right, you constantly have new people. You can't at this point, at this, at this point in the game, you can't ruin your market. You can only gain people. And the one good person that you might need to change your business forever is going to be so worth somebody thinking that your stories are too spammy or whatever. Like it's just so worth it. So I think right now it's about completely not second guessing it, but just going with it, just going with it as much as possible. Um, but I don't feel like spammy oh, when you bring your life in it, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, you can spam your stories with everything, but I find that we're getting more market attraction within our stories because we are doing but we're so interactive and we're sharing like if we bought something we're sharing our kids we're sharing whatever so it's actually more fun and interesting and bam they're going to still see thrive because we get more interactions in our stories with our personal life but regardless they have to see our thrive posts right yeah so I, I agree just like because i have some promotions that just post um transformations and nothing else about their personal life they're not getting the traction still so you have to make it a good balance of like twin, she posts everything, but she's always posting what she's doing throughout the day. So that's what is attracting, um, that's what is attracting people. And that's why I think that people have to incorporate both. You can't just yeah. do one. And you know what? I think at this point, you guys, you've done it. You guys have all done it. If you've gotten to 40K, you've done hard before. Like at this point, there is nothing left. Like there's no more fear. I mean, yes, there's still fear there, but there's nothing that's going to stop you. I feel like, like you either want the 80 and the 200 or you did not, or you don't like you want to be on this right now. I mean, I think we're over those places where I need to get on a zoom and tell you, tell you guys, just do it. Like y'all are doing it. Y'all are going to do it. It now it's just a matter of, let's figure out how to implement it and do it. Let's get ideas from each other. Let's steal each other's shit. Like, let's make this happen. Because like, if I want to know what stories look like that are stupidly amazing, I'm going to go watch all you guys. Like a twin under, y'all, it's ridiculous. Like even Lavelle, corporate is stealing all your guys' stuff. It's crazy. Um, but I mean, if somebody does it right, why like look at what other people are doing. So I think at this point for everybody on this particular zoom, it definitely isn't about, Oh, I've got to overcome this. No, I don't think so. I mean, I think we're all, we don't care what we need to overcome. We're going to make it happen. I think at this point, we're a group of people that are trying to figure out our way around these little things, um, leadership wise. And also, just trying to think of what more can we push ourselves to do? You know, give me another idea. Okay, I'll go try that. Like, I think we're all, you know, none of us on here. I don't need to coddle anybody or go, you, I believe in you. Like, dude, you guys all believe in yourselves at this point. I believe that. Um, it's just now, okay, what can we take from each other? And then, you know, make it our own and kill it. Because there, every single one of you guys deserve to get these bonuses. Every single one of you guys. And I believe that every single one of you guys will get them. Like, this is such a killer group of people that all have their own strengths. And it's so fun to watch it too, because you guys can learn so much from each other. Like, I'm looking at the people on here going, I'm like, oh my God, that person's so good at this. This person's so good at this. So if you guys have something, please speak up on this Zoom now, because you are not not as good as someone else. You guys all have your own strengths. I want to hear anything you all got. I want to say something. Um, oh, I've always noticed like with my business that the more I post about Thrive, the more action I get. And I know that we're supposed to find a balance. Um, but I tend to lose momentum when I don't post as much about it. And so what I'm going to do is, which this is actually a Katie Munz tip, but lead with the business. So all of my, all of my posts are going to, they're going to be business driven. I, I have to, I have to build an $80,000 team if I want to hit 200 K. I have half of it. I, it's kind of just me. And so, I mean, 
I'm not holding 40 K, but I'm, I'm just going to post about thrive. And my mindset is if you want to delete me because you're sick of it, then you're not to be, you're not meant to be on my journey. And that's kind of where I'm at because I don't have another choice. You know what I mean? Like, and I think you have to be aggressive right now, Michelle, for sure. I absolutely agree. Right. And every person, if I post about thrive twice a day, let's say the people, not everyone's going to see both of those posts either because of the algorithm. So right. my biggest challenge is like getting in somebody's ear and being like, Hey, I need you to listen to me. That's, that's my challenge right now. It's not really a fear of rejection. I think it's a fear that I'm not going to say the right thing. So I guess it would be a fear of failure. Right. And right now, don't second guess that. And you know, you got, I mean, you've had me in messages, just like utilize, you know what I mean? If you're feeling, if any of you guys are on here and you feel weak in some point, pull somebody else in that you know doesn't feel weak in that point, you know what I mean? Or somebody that you feel like until I feel confident here, I'm going to utilize this person. I mean, again, I think all of you are above, I think all of you are above thinking you have to do it on your own. I don't think anybody here is too proud in order to get that 80 or $200,000 bonus. I don't think anybody here is too proud to ask for help. And, and that's a strong suit. That's, that's strong suit about being a leader. The other thing I want to tell you guys too, is make sure, you know, I think at this point in the game, you've got to constantly be growing your market, like grow, 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 grow should be your daily. Every day when you wake up, it's how many new people can I add? Who can I build a relationship with? Like that should be probably the center of it all. And knowing kind of what's happening with your um, Facebook, because I will say, so if you guys, anybody that did the 40 K push group with me, the one I did with the destination of 40 K when we went through the alphabet, so I decided to start doing that again and it's flipping my, because I haven't done it in a couple months. It's crazy how it's flipping my algorithm again. Like people are seeing my stuff again and I'm like, okay, I'm going to just go through my alphabet again. So just going back and doing some stuff like that, making sure that the time that you are spending on Facebook, because we can easily as leaders, I think, get caught up in all of the posts. Like I log in and I'm tagged in 18,000 different thriving posts. And so what do I do? I start clicking on them and liking and hearting and commenting, welcome and thanks for joining. And then the next thing I know, it's been like an hour and a half. And then now at Facebook is showing all those people my shit. <laughs> and I'm like, dang it. So I have to be super mindful about this time of year. Like, is it super necessary for me to do that? I mean, I'm not going to leave a brand new person without a welcome. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that making sure right after I do that, Right. So what I'm doing is making sure after I would go welcome new people and congrats on this bonus and congrats on whatever, then I'm going right after that. And I'm taking my list of prospects and going to their pages and making sure I'm interacting with them so that Facebook isn't like saying, oh crap, she's only talking to those people. Ooh, Stacy, what? Tell us, tell us, tell us. So I'm like a huge, huge, huge believer in the fact that like, look at this garbage bag today, guys. But like, we waste so much time there. We waste so much time there. Like we want to be kind so much. Like we talked about this two Zooms ago. I don't even, I don't even know what day it is anymore. But like, <clears throat> we waste so much time there, you guys. At the end of the day, if you, when I can pick up my phone, because remember, like I'm doing daycare from home too, and I, I'm homeschooling my kids and whatever. When I pick up my phone, I need to be intentional. So most people immediately click on their notifications. As leaders, for me, what I've learned, if I can teach my team to stop clicking on your messages and your notifications and immediately go to your um, like newsfeed to hugs and high fives, whether it's Instagram or Facebook, it doesn't really matter. If you take that approach, and then I reward myself with those notifications. Once I've done my shit, once I've sent my happy birthdays, once I've done my follow-ups, once I've liked, commented, interacted, once I've built relationships, then I reward myself by hitting that notification button or going to my messages and I can respond, I can reply, I can congratulate other thrivers, but that's after because I'm not getting paid for that. So I, for me, that's really helped me for the past couple of years and that's something that is in the forefront of my brain Almost, almost, not every time, but almost every single time I pick up my phone. So that might help. Okay, so maybe this is just in my mind, but I feel like it's the last people I've interacted with 
that I see most of their stuff. So that's why the only reason why I've been trying to do it after. So like I will first go and do all the welcome, blah, 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 all the things I'm tagged in. Then I will go and do the other people. And may, that could be just in my mind. I don't even know. But I feel like more of my stuff is being seen by the, the last people I interacted with. So I'm like, wait a second. Did I just screw it up doing it the other way? I don't know. Probably not. I don't think it really has anything. Like, I don't think there's a perfect science. For me, I just know if I get on there and I look and Jan's tag me, Melissa's tag me, Ronnie's tag me, Amy's tag me. Like, it's so easy to just get caught up in I want to be a great teammate and I want to welcome their team and congratulate her on her shout out. And I just get, I, I learned a long time ago, I get caught up. So it's much easier for me to figure out like what's going to make me money and my team success and then the opposite. And I mean, all of it's done within for me, like I only get like 15 minute runs during the day. Like I've got to be balls to the wall. So I need to get shit done. And so I don't think it really matters for me. Right. You know, what's so crazy is <sighs> more than ever, I think that at this point in the game for all of us, all it is is a game of new people, new, new, adding new, adding new, adding new, adding new, and then interacting with those new. Like that is what is going to do it. And then making sure we're posting amazing stories so those new people are seeing them, you know, like, oh, what's going on? And, you know, posting on our Facebook page. Like it's really just that cycle of just doing all of that for the next four months. Like when I think about, is there anything else that's really the most important or things that are going to grow my business? That's the only thing on my list that I've got to do this and I've got to do it constantly. Am I missing something? Like, can you guys think of anything else? That, like, <laughs> I'm serious. Like I'm thinking, should I do anything else? Or is that just the main focus? I think that's just the main focus right now. We just have to add, add, add and get more people on Thrive and get people into our network, right? Like I wasn't adding enough before. And then you're posting, I'm like, oh, frig, just add, add, add from all my workout groups. So I just keep on adding because they all kind of know me because I've got a presence on there already. So now I'm like, F that shit. I'm just going to add them. No more making conversations. But yeah, I think, I, I think that's right, Lisa. I think for at this point in our business, we need to do that just to grow in order to grow. Right. So also told our team just to go back to Stacy about if it's your personally enrolled your your promoter should be always interacting but we are not going to interact with every single one because our team is so big and we don't want to feed and we've already said to our team you know please don't feel offended you're personally enrolled or if we know you don't have a personally enrolled the next person will always take care of you. but we want to make sure that we're not tagging just thrivers because again we're seeing too much thrivers on our feed so we've actually warned our team that um, like if it's your personal role, they're gonna always interact with you, but the whole entire, like our whole will not interact because of the fact of the algorithm, right? But the other thing that I find that we, our team and what we're doing more now is we're going like, like when I say the balance, we're, we're, we are really talking about the business to opportunities every other day, every day, and we're going lives every and like with us was well with me was going more lives but what i just did was i went with um lisa's promoter who's more shy so we're just picking whoever and i also offered her because again she's newer i just said to her hey um you know what let me help you out i'm gonna do a live with me and then um i just offered her so i'm gonna offer everyone a live um for our promoters i'm just gonna send three free samples of all their customers just to give them that extra what they are going to live with me, I will send out free samples for you, right? right? For their whatever, just to help them out a little bit more. Um, I just text her that, but I'm just saying that the lives are giving way more interactions and again, telling the stories. Well, I was going to say, I think the reason why you guys don't have such an issue with new people being scared of lives is because you guys are pulling people into lives right away. Like that's all they know. So they're not like scared sitting back. Like, oh crap, I'm afraid to do a live. Like, it's just part of what you guys constantly do. And I think we can all take like a, a note on that. Like, we need to start getting that new person going live immediately. And one of the things I'm doing with the people that I'm signing is immediately I'm saying, let's go live on your page. Like, you're going to go live, we're going to share, and whoever sees it, sees it, but you're going to interview me. Oh, I just started a new business. I want you to hear from my friend Lisa about it. Like, we are doing it because I want them to literally not be scared of the live. 
Like, let's just show them how easy, how simple this is. Share a story. Um, and that way, hopefully, they're not so reluctant to continue to go live. Because honestly, it doesn't matter what anyone says. Lives are where it's at. They always will be. For somebody to be able to hear you and see you and they stumble on that, it just becomes more real. No post. Reading some post, yeah, that's fine. But being able to hear somebody's excitement and passion and heart, nothing beats that. Like nothing beats that period. Was there anybody else that wanted to talk? I keep buttoning. I was, no, I was just going to help Michelle answer her question. Cause I went through that same thing too. Like where you don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, I I'm a yellow personality. So I always was like, Oh, it's okay. You don't need to plug into lives. But now I'm like, no, sorry. This is what you're going to do now. No ifs and or buts. And what I actually did for our team um, and Lisa's team and I sent out a voice note. I said, something is going to drop. And it obviously already did. But before, prior to all of that, I sent a voice note and I meant business. I was like, okay, this is going to happen. I'm going to run for this. You either can come or come without us. But I am willing to lock arms with you if you're willing to lock arms with me and work one-on-one. -on -one. If you want open, constructive criticism, I will schedule that Zoom with you and we will work one-on-one -on -one to get you guys to this bonus. Because this is not about me. This is about you guys getting your bonus and you guys deserve this as much as anyone else, as much as anyone else new coming on. So I'm like, I kind of just made it seem like it's a no if and or buts. And first, when it first started, when we started to do just like one on ones, like what I would do it with like Lisa's promoter and like we would kind of do it together and just um, re reset. I said 2021 is a reset. There's a bonus right now. So tell me what you're doing. Tell me what you're not doing. I would ask like an actual like interaction, like what are you struggling with right now? And just nip it in the butt. And then basically it's kind of like a motivation, like a reset, re-welcome. Okay, get your butt in the get your butt in the game. But as soon as we started doing that and posting it and tagging them, and some of their uplines that are nowhere to be found saw that their downline was plugging into me and Lisa, it turned everyone on and was like can you do a welcome call or not a welcome call? Can you do a team zoom and just motivate my team? Everyone, like how many levels down was like, Oh my God, if that girl is like how many levels below me and wants to do a zoom and one-on-one -on -one training with Ashley, then what, why am I, I'm being left behind. She's going to pass me. So it's just like starting that fire of showing like, yes, you can do it and tag them and show them and shout them out, make them feel special. Ask them like, Hey, if you have not gone alive, I'll interview you. When are you free? I don't even ask. I don't say, why don't you do this? No. Like, I'm like, let's go on a live. And I don't really give them a choice. I'm like, let's set up a date. Let's do a banner. And then you're going to do it. And then it all of a sudden, all these like dead legs started to come on and they're like, can you do a team zoom? Um, I'm like, Hey, rally your people together. Then get your people together on a mandatory zoom and no ifs and or buts and make a commitment to it. And I was like, I will go on there and I will train everyone. And I was just like fire. Like I'm just red right now. Cause I'm like, rallying my team together and like I think that's what they need and I think when they feel like they're left behind and they see people doing that one-on-one -on -one interaction with their 80k leader I'm like yes let's fucking work I don't care how low below you are to me I will set up a zoom with you and tell you exactly what you need to do that is such a good point there's so many people under us I think that they think oh Ashley wouldn't do a zoom with me she's too high up there or Lisa wouldn't do one no I think that that's exactly what we need to do that's so so good such good advice so huge and not giving people a choice it's like let's talk if you want to make this happen we're going live if you want to make this happen you're getting on this if you're going to if you're going to make this happen we're doing this like i think a lot of people just need direction like this is what we're doing let's make it happen like for and sure being more aggressive with our time so it's not next week it's tomorrow or days max like we're, we're being very direct and it's like hey when are you doing live you have two days tomorrow. Like that's how we're literally talking to everyone. We're not being like, oh, schedule for next week. No, um, we're like next two days is max. We're actually, so we're just doing everything what Ashley is doing. Just, we're just basically condensing everything now. So instead of being like, you just have to say, no, you're doing it within the next one day or two days. They always feel better. So it's just being more, I'm so proud of you, Ashley. I like when her writes up. I'm red, red, guys. I'm a yellow, blue, and red's like far down the line. But as soon as I hang out with Ronnie, my red comes out. But it's honestly so true. And, and you know, if some of these girls that I talk to with one-on-one -on -one Zooms, they're like, they've been here for a couple months. And they just need sometimes like to feel special from you guys. And just to feel like, oh my God, she notices me. Oh my God, she watched my stories. I'm like, 
or I'll watch and I'll like know who I, cause once I know who listened to the voicemail and scheduled the call and went on a zoom with me, I will write these people down just to make time on, this is my balance. Like I'm still enrolling people. I'm still posting. I'm still trying to get customers. And um, I'm also sharing the balance of the business side. So I have these people that are serious. I write them down and then I actually tell them like, I'll, I'll check on their stories once in a while. And if I see something and it's like something vulnerable, I'm like, girl, you're killing it. That's all you can say. It takes two seconds, right? And then another thing, like as I'm enrolling people, I want like lead from the front and roll your people show that you're sending out like samples and screenshot. So your team can see like, wow, like if our 80 K leader is doing all this stuff, why can't I do that? So even also utilize like a VIP chat. So I know you probably have like, we have a big 200 person promoter chat and the chats go off and then the newbies get lost. We made a new system where we just don't even put that them, the newbies in there yet. We put them in our special VIP chat. So it's like with like, all the like people are running for the same thing and it's not chatter. Everyone is growing and we're all shouting out certain screenshots and people in this chat. So they get to know each other as well and that they're not feeling alone in their VIP stage. So we're just letting them focus on the VIP stage and then moving forward. But then at least like there's people already like they haven't even hit promoter yet. They already went live today. Like, and you're, we're shouting them out like, Oh my God, like good job. And like, it shows all our older promoters, like, Holy crap, like back to the basics. That's all we're reminding them. Like if these people are doing it, it's back to the basics guys. That's it. There's no, there's no reinventing the wheel here. It's all the same thing. So I think everyone's just, even for us, it's like a good reminder too. I think edification is so huge right now too. Like you pointed out, Ashley, like messaging those people like, oh my God, loved your live today. Like they think and utilize like us, let your downline know if you want me to shout someone out or if you need me to like give them that little push. And I want you guys to know the same thing here. If you've got somebody like new, whatever, like let me know and I can go to their page and shout them out or private message them or whatever because sometimes like just hearing it from somebody other than you is cool too you know what I mean they're like oh th that person's looking at me so and it's hard because like the organization's so big and I don't want anybody to get missed and there's like it's to hear from someone else that you've just done something good it makes you want to do it more like if you go tell somebody Oh, killer kick ass live. They're like, dang, I maybe I am good at lives. I'm gonna go live again tomorrow. Like, so, so huge. Like, edification right now through this whole process of the next four months, I think edification is what is going to keep people going. Constant reminders that they are doing a good job and, you know, that they're headed in the right direction. They're moving in the right direction. Those constant little nudges of, you know, I saw that. I believe in you. Great job. Keep going. They're, it's going to encourage them to keep doing that. People stop because they literally feel like either they, they're not important or they're not noticed or they're not appreciated. Those little nudges are the things that are going to keep people moving through. And people ask all the time, how do I keep my team motivated? That's how. Constant edification and nudges is that is how you keep people motivated and growing for sure. Such good freaking tips. The other thing that if you come on our Zooms, we give that we don't tell them we're always giving things out to it's just creating FOMO onto our zooms so um every our team zooms we're giving we're like with her office attire which is her robe everyone wants the robe with like a random draw of anything so we're always trying to like and then we have like monday to um friday which is right now we have a working zoom anybody can come on we don't talk we're just literally putting whatever and then you know we'll just throw out hey here's like a new book or um you know like a flight or whatever it's literally creating FOMO for the team to come on and that's where we are getting more before it would be like you know you have like four one five now because we're doing it and just creating the FOMO with little gift twenty dollars not even a big deal but they're like oh yeah and then they're again that's something for them to post they're tagging us at a fight and then we're just sharing whatever it is right so I think right. that's the thing too, like you don't, I know that you guys always say like, don't get stuck in management rope, like management mode. But I think like when you, when they start to plug in and it's like, Hey, like, yeah, we do do those giveaways and the gratitude. And then they tag us and they, they say like, Oh, like I need to plug in some more. I think it's just, it's just riding the momentum right now, especially with like the new people coming in and like doing those small little giveaways. We gave us, gave out so much stuff for Christmas. <laughs> 
<laughs> there were so many things, but they were nice things like gratitude journals and they just felt that welcome right away. And it was so contagious and like everyone's just enrolling enrolling super quickly now. So um, it's just having that really fine balance of red and yellow, like Ronnie's, Ronnie's the red to my yellow. <laughs> so, you know, like it's, it's used and on our Zooms too as well. Like we always have like those mandatory Zooms and we encourage our own downlines to have their own team Zooms like without us. And, but when we do come together on Sundays, we ask other leaders to speak. It's not just one person. We ask them like, what, what tips you guys have? Like we make it an open environment of like a safe environment where like there is no wrong question. Like we're always like, we're open to listen and give out shout outs to people on like who did their first unboxing. Like it's a lot of, it's a lot of just making people feel special that they're noticed and that, they're going out of their comfort zone. So we try to really pay attention to that. I think that's we're pretty good at that stuff. Yeah, I think there's so much to learn um, as far as, I mean, everybody on here, one of the questions I get a lot is two people. It's usually Stephanie Grachek's team or twins team. How, how do they create that family? And it totally is everything you just said. I mean, constant recognition, um, you know, giving away little things, making people feel important and creating that family. Like, you know, nobody is better than anybody. We're all just going down this road together and you're appreciated. I mean, that is what though, people don't think that's a huge part of business. I mean, Stacey Weisenberg is good at it too. Like she has a close knit team. Keeping a close knit team though is the long run key to success. It's also the long-term key to keeping people. Like people don't leave a team where they feel appreciated. People don't leave a team. People will keep going even when they lose rank, even when a paycheck drops, even when they have a bad day. I mean, the other reasons in, in other teams why people quit on a team like your guys is they don't quit because they know that you guys have their back because they feel so a part of something. And because the relationships are so close and that have been created, people are like, I don't want to let Ashley down. I don't want to let, you know, twin down. I don't want to let, like, they don't want to let, I don't want to let Lisa down. Like they don't want to let people down that have been there and supported and helped them. And so they rise back up the next day and they keep going and they go, okay, I'm just, you know, they don't quit. It is so huge. Like, it, it's the most important part of, of a team, you know, first it's getting the team, right? You know, let's grab the bonus, let's grow our team. But in order to keep the team flourishing and not losing people, that's, it's totally, it's all of it. It's everything. It's everything that you guys just said. It's all of it. So huge. Well, I know we're coming up on about, you know, an hour. Does anybody have anything else they want to share or give? And don't forget you guys, we got the team, the, um, the 40k push chat, um, you know, utilize that. Like if you've got something you're worried, you want to share, share it. If you have a question and you need some advice, ask, like utilize it for that. Um, and again, if you guys personally need me to do any like personal shout outs, um, make a video and put it on their timeline or, you know, just reach out or whatever, let me know. I can do that. And then anything else you guys are thinking as far as if something pops in your head, a good idea for a promotion or I'm willing to do whatever y'all just let me know. Um, but, and I'm also available. I mean, I know sometimes at the rank that you guys are, and I mean, obviously most of you are really good closers. You kind of know what to say, but if you're ever feeling like, you know, you need me to do a three way, I'm here. I always feel silly saying that because you guys are so awesome and you probably have a lot of people, but if you ever need me for anything, I'm here. Um, and I don't think any of you guys are afraid to ask me if you need anything, but if you do, please, 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 please let me know. I'm totally down and willing to try anything. At this point, I'm down. Let's do it. Just let me know what to do. Um, but yeah, anybody have anything else they wanted to add before we hop off? I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Hour number four, almost over. I just want to say thank you so much for um, doing those Tuesday and Wednesday night uh, things for customers and promoters. I think that that's really going to be um, uh, such a big help for everybody, but me personally. So thank you. I'm so excited. I hope so. I mean, I always get extremely excited when somebody messages me after 
I do a like opportunity zoom and they're like, oh my God, my person just signed up. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Like if it's one person for me, I'm excited, but I'm hoping that being able to get people, not just us, but if we can encourage our team members to send people there, even brand new people that don't know what they're doing. If we can just get them doing that, I can't see how they're not going to grow because they're going to get that third party credibility and hear stories and, you know, be able to like get excited and, you know, kind of see the vision from somebody other than the person that, that they heard about it from. And that's really, I mean, I know that's what did it for me. I remember my sister like wanted nothing to do with it. She came over to my house one day and there was a promoter over and she started sharing her story. And all of a sudden my sister was like, you didn't tell me about that. And I'm like, yes, I did. Like I told you about all of that. And then some, um, it's just amazing how people close to you or that know you just kind of let it go in one ear and out the other. So um, I know they can be effective because I've done them plenty of times to know that they can, but hopefully we just get enough people utilizing them, like actually utilizing them and getting people to these events the right way. But yeah, I'm excited. All right, guys, I love you. You're the best sis. I'm really excited. And I really truly believe that every single one of you can you guys can hit these bonuses. I mean, you can do it. It's your time. Four months is a lifetime in a business like this. And it's all about just keep going. Don't give up. And and no matter what, y'all, I mean, I think you guys know by this time, Lavelle doesn't ever stop. Like <laughs> whether it's this time you get the bonus or the next time, it'll be back. I mean, they they always think of something bigger and better. And there's always a reason to run here. And no matter what happens at the rank you guys are at, even if you guys didn't hit a bonus, I want you to think about how your paychecks are going to go up and how people on your team are going to hit those bonuses. Like that in itself is just a cool thing. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's not always about us, but it always leads to a better place than we are right now. You know, it might not be the exact place we want it to be, but it always leads to a better place. But I truly believe every single one of you guys have the potential 100% to, to reach one of these bonuses and, um, or both. Some of you might get both. Um, but at the end of the day, no matter what, it's the long term. And I think you guys get that. It's not about just one bonus that, that lasts 10 months or a year or 15 months. I mean, those are great but I've been doing this now, you guys, for 10 years, and I've never gotten a bonus. The only bonus I ever received in network marketing was my VA, VIP 800 and 1600. I've had many, but other than that, I mean, they announced these bonuses in 2017, the month after I went 200K, they announced it. Like, I was like, what? And I didn't even hold that month. I went back down to 80K. I was like, so mad. It's like, the network marketing gods just do not want me to get a bonus. I don't know. They just don't want me to. But um, <laughs> with that said, seriously, I'm not crying right now. Y'all, I'm 10 years in and, you know, several million dollars later, not upset that I didn't hit a bonus because at the end of the day, it's not about this bonus or the next bonus or the ones that came before this. It's about long-term. Where can you see yourself in 10 years with Lavelle? if they never announced a bonus, just keep sticking with it and going strong there. Every single one of you will be millionaires. I, I have no doubt bonus or no bonus. Every single one of you will get there. So I'm excited as usual. This just makes it even more exciting, but I'm excited. I'm just excited to see where the next five years are going to take all of us. I, this is only the beginning. I mean, it really is. So I appreciate you guys. I'll touch base with you guys. I'm thinking, um, Next month after Kabul, we'll do another Zoom just to see where everybody's at, see if anybody's trying anything, doing anything, just to chat. You know, it never hurts to do a quick Zoom to chat. Um, but until then, I will keep putting some just income producing things and bingo sheets and stuff like that in the 40K, um, 80K push. And you know what I mean? You guys can utilize it or not. If you're doing something that's working, don't let me screw that up. <laughs> don't let me screw that up. But I'll put some things in there that we can use. And um, obviously, you know, if anything's on my heart, I'll go live and share with you. And if I hear of anything new or whatever, anything, <laughs> anything, I don't think there's anything new that I'll learn that I probably didn't steal from twins team, but 
hey, you never know. <laughs> you never know. Um, with that said, though, uh, I just am super proud of you guys. I love you. Have an amazing, amazing night, um, amazing week. And I'm interviewing Amber tomorrow on the uh, the uh, leadership Zoom at noon. So you guys get that out to your team. It should be a good one. And um, I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Thanks for hopping on. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks, guys. You're the best, guys. Bye. Thank you.